It's two o'clock in the morning. Let's go send a rocket to the moon. So off into the darkness we go. Almost six hours until the launch window opens. Almost three hours until Jetty Park opens up. There's a million things that can go wrong and only one thing that can go right. We need to be there to soak it all in. So we've passed the exit for Kennedy Space Center, heading over to Jetty Park, which is about 15 miles away from Launch Pad 39B, where Artemis 1 is sitting. Just seeing news online that there's a hydrogen leak. I don't know if they can clean that up prior to launch. We'll keep heading over that way. Jetty Park will open today at 5 a.m. for cars to head in and people to get their spots. And this is the line of cars 90 minutes prior to 5 o'clock. It's a half mile long. Now, according to the post online, there's still a hydrogen leak that they are working through. They're going to see if they can try to bypass it or work around it. We'll see what happens. You can hear what sounds like bats outside. Well, as I sit in the dark, they've once again stopped filling the hydrogen because of potential leak. And it keeps sitting here 10 to 4. We'll see if anything changes. While I'm sitting here waiting, there's a giant cruise ship coming in here. Royal Caribbean, it looks like. It's the independence of the seas. See the water slide. It's a little back there. The amount of cars behind me now is staggering at 4 a.m. We got an hour before the park opens, and they're still pushing on. See if they can get a rocket up in the air today. At 4:25, the line is enormous, but there are a bunch of people trying to cut in here now. Another cruise ship coming in. Workers have come out to tell these cars that they cannot just cut in. And now the cops have arrived. And so they started letting cars in, about 10 minutes to five, doing an excellent job at trying to keep everybody out that are trying to just drive right in and cut into everybody. Cops, workers here, and they've given the rocket a go so far. So three and a half more hours to go and we've made it. Jetty Park, beach, and campground. And away we go. And we have our parking right up against the water. Holy cow. Ship is coming right in here, the Disney Wish. Hello. There's a big aqua coaster. You can see the video screen going up there. And so way off in the distance is our launch pad. Got boats launching out here. Lots of Coast Guard going by. Sign up there. Warning people that there's a launch. And as of 5.36 a.m., they have a go to start filling the upper stage. Meanwhile, as I sit here, so many stars out. I don't know how well you can see that, but these are stars in the pitch black. Planet over here. Six o'clock in the morning. We got a lot of clouds.
is up. This guy is fishing off the rocks. And we have a fireboat going by. And NASA is trying to work through some issues. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Breakfast of Champions here with the Payday Bar and a Coca-Cola. The sun is peeking out down there. Look at that sunrise. So with the sun fully up, 7.17 in the morning now, the word is, it is looking doubtful. I'm gonna sit here and ride it out. Apparently there is a crack on one of the engine's flange, fuel tank. Gonna sound really stupid because I have no idea what it is, but crack and tank don't sound good. And the longer it takes to fix it, the less likely it'll happen because we have storm clouds that are coming in. And so we're at a point where Jetty Park is actually packed. It is packed everywhere. And looking online, uh, there was a major accident on the highway leading into the area as well, so people can't get in. Probably not going to be able to get out. It normally takes hours to get around here when there is a major launch. They're expecting upwards of 500,000 people to be here today. This is a historic mission. The Artemis mission is bringing us back to the moon uh, to orbit the moon uh, unmanned, uh, but to get a better look at the moon, get better, um, get a better understanding where we can potentially build a base and then uh, look to, uh, at some point, uh, go beyond the moon and get to Mars. This is a long time coming for this stages um, in these missions that they've planned for years. I want to go back to, uh, I can go back to, I want to say it was about seven or eight years ago, I went to NASA social mission uh, for the MMS, which was uh, to study solar flares. And I had an opportunity at that point to talk to uh, leadership at Kennedy Space Center. It was an amazing, amazing experience. And I had asked them at the time, when we would be able to get to Mars, the major mission to get to Mars, potentially colonize Mars, etc. And if you remember years back, uh, they also uh, had like this whole uh, thing to potentially select people for a one-way trip to, to Mars, etc. At that time, and this was going back eight years ago, they were hoping to be able to get to uh, Mars sometime between 2020 and 2030. And looking at the calendar, we're obviously we're at 2022 at this point. We're not at the moon. Uh, the point getting to the moon, we want to be able to get, to, uh, you know, a diversified astronaut base to the moon um, and to do further space exploration. The rocket that's launching today is super huge. It's the biggest rocket that they've ever launched uh, from Kennedy Space Center or from anywhere. Um, and the space race is essentially back on again with other countries like China and Russia also looking to get to the moon and to potentially colonize or build bases up there as well. So, very exciting to be out here. Very fingers crossed at this point uh, that we're able to get up and uh, get the mission underway. And as of 7.30 a.m., the countdown clock has stopped at T minus 40 minutes so that they can try to fix the problems that they have for today. 7.43 and the crack has been resolved. It was within foam surrounding the tank, not the tank itself, so. We're just holding, hopefully we're able to get up. The further the morning goes, the more that happens. And that's gonna have some rain tied to it. 8 or 2 a.m., we're still in a hold. And that's on the horizon. I mean, I'm no meteorologist, but it's raining. And here we are, 8, 10 a.m. Rain has stopped. Let's go for a little walk. Got all the news stations out here. Fox 35, Wink. Pop away over at Wesh. Get a really good view over here of everything. 8.30, just three minutes before launch window is supposed to open. Nothing happening. Even though this thing may not go up today, which I am still very hopeful that it will, it is so awesome to be out here with so many like-minded folks that are just looking to cheer on one thing. Every one of these people that are still here 
they all just have hope. Well, less than five minutes from my speech about hope, the launch is scrubbed for today. There's hope for another day, just not today. And so begins the journey back home. There, there will be another opportunity if you're going to stick around for it. Yeah, and you got a week at the beach if you want. We'll go through it all again, but uh, this morning's Artemis launch has indeed been scrubbed. Somebody texted in, it's going to be crazy in Titusville for an entire week. Yeah, yep, that's a lot of uh, yeah, so a lot of money being spent, too. If they decide to uh, open the next opportunity, if they can resolve the issue Friday, 1248 Eastern Time, and then the next window after that would be Monday. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. So that's where we're at with what we know at this point. Peeps walking back to their hotels and wherever they park their cars along the road. So it's going to be a while. I'm going to wrap this up while I'm sitting in traffic. I'm not even mad at all, i got to be honest. Um, it was great to be out uh, at the park. Great to be among so many other like-minded folks all looking for one thing. Uh, I've been to plenty of these launches and you hope that it goes up, but like I said at the start of the video, there's like millions of reasons uh, why things can go wrong and only one thing can go right. And uh, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of these happen. I know when you're coming to Kennedy Space Center to Space Coast, uh, especially if you're coming from overseas, because we have a lot of folks that watch the channel from UK and other places, and uh, you have kind of one shot to have everything go perfect for things to go off and folks will stay at a hotel or spend a fortune to try to get out to Kennedy Space Center itself and be on site for the launch and everything. And when things don't go uh, as planned, it's a bummer. It's always a bummer, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. And uh, that's what happened. I mean, regardless of the fact of there not being any astronauts on board, you don't want to destroy uh, millions or billions of dollars worth of technology for the sake of trying to do something now instead of trying to do something right. So it'll get up at some point and uh, we may not be here to see it. We'll watch on TV or among other folks out on the street in front of the house or wherever. But uh, it's one of the benefits of living in Central Florida. Uh, on that note, we're getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night or day. We'll see you guys.